doing? He's like, Columbia, gringo. And I was like, yeah, let's go. It was uh, perfect for me. So we started taking trips, Colombia, Venezuela, Aruba. And we were taking these trips, wrapping a kilo of Coke, swallowing it, bringing it back. The first few trips, I was just kind of a mule. He's paying me pretty good. And he's like, hey, gringo, save your own money and you can do this yourself. About six trips down there, um, I was in Bogota Airport. And this wait, wait, so you were kid. swallowing an entire kilo? Yeah, close. How do you – in like Fuck. several different bags or something? Or how do you – I mean, Yeah, you, uh, 10, 10 grams in like a ball like that big. Is it, is it like a condom? It's like they put them in like a condom no, or, a, no. or a balloon? A balloon? Um, so we would put them in plastic and then – we would because if um, they explode, would, you, you die. And, yeah, because we would. I would, the first time I let someone else wrap it, and that was like one of the most scary experiences. And then I started doing it all myself. You take black tape, tape it up. We put it in hot water, let it turn it into like a like a like a plastic shell, and then four layers of surgical gloves. Tie it, tie it off, cut it, drop it in the other way. Four layers, and then there was a special paper we put around. It, it was real reflecty. And they were like, this is what will pass the x-ray. And I was like, I don't know if they were just trying to make me feel better. Um, but it was my seventh trip or so. I'm in the Bogota airport. Some just black dude in street clothes comes up to me. He's like, Dami su passaporte. And I'm like, uh, no comprende. I don't speak Spanish. And he's like, give me your passport. And I'm like, who are you? And he's like, boom, secret police. And I was like, whoa. Okay. And he's like, oh, gringo. He's like, yeah, you like Colombia, huh? And I was like, oh, yeah, I got a girlfriend here, you know. And he's like, yeah, 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 sit down. And I was like, oh, okay. And I like sit down. And it was like two sketchy looking dudes and a smoking hot chick. And I'm like, what are we doing here? And they're like, we're going to the x-ray. And I was like, oh, my gosh. So I'm like freaking out inside, like trying not to um, you don't show want to poo. You definitely don't yeah. want to poo. No. Trying not to, trying not to, <laughs> to poo. Yeah, and, for sure, uh, no. So, so they walk us to this big room, man. It's got this big machine. Get in there. And they're like, Tina one dia, senor Hunters. I have a good day, sir. Sign, fingerprint. Man, that adrenaline dump. That compares to like fighting, winning a fight, um, walking out of that room. I was just like, whoa. And and then after that, we started getting a little cocky, you know. I'm like, what are they gonna do? Throw me in the x-ray? So then we started taking trips sooner, two weeks out, three weeks before we used to wait three months. And uh just started to kind of get cocky with it and uh eventually about 11 12 trips in um we went from aruba to caracas to, to straight to tenerife and um usually we don't do that we usually go to barcelona or madrid the mainland spain and then go in and um so i show up there they look through my passport they're like man you have a ton of stamps and uh and I was just like, yeah, 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 I have a girlfriend here. I'm just a rich American, blah, blah, blah. My girlfriend comes around. She comes in. She verifies. They let me go. I walk down to the parking garage. The Colombian's waiting for me. Right when we walk in there, boom, secret police. They jump on us. Same deal, though. They're going to take us to the extra. I'm like, let's go. I'm like talking, you know, big game, talking smack to these dudes. Like, I'm a tourist, and you're making me go to the x-ray. And but the problem now, was, do, do you they, think do you think somebody may have been tipping them off or it was just a kind of something random? Because the way they're approaching you seems like it's almost like a game plan. Just. You got to think, man, I'm the only white boy coming from Venezuela, first off. Second off, uh, some Colombian dudes waiting for me in the garage, parking garage. And third, I got like 12 stamps in my passport. So. Big red flags, you know, maybe, okay. who knows? Nobody knows. But um, so we went there and now usually they just throw us an x-ray in the airport because they have them. But because this is like a third world country, basically, they don't have them. So they took us to the hospital and they do the real oh. x-ray, you know, the plaque. And with, yeah. And so, um, you know, like they're like, don't move. And I'm like, and they're like, no, no. And they finally laid me down so I could not move. And they took the x-ray. And they were all like apologizing. They couldn't see anything. We're gonna. They're like, we just gotta have the head doctor sign off on this. You'll be good to go. And um, and I was like, yeah, this is BS. My girlfriend's crying. La la. And then the head doctor, this beautiful Spanish girl, puts it on this light, and she's like, yep. She's like, tells me in Spanish, she's like, you have drugs, balls of drugs in your intestines. What is it? 
heroin, cocaine? And I was like, nah. And she's like, yeah, no, it's seguro. She's telling me. And I'm like, nah. And she's like, yes. And I'm like, oh, I eat some Chinese. And you keep food. saying no. Yeah, I said I ate some Chinese food and they were like, shut up. <laughs> Last time I ate at that Chinese food place, they put drugs in your food. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they got me. I'll never eat there so, again. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. You know, detox in the airport. It's a different x ray. The, the hospital x rays are actually yeah, it's like a 3D imaging to where uh, like it's just uh, stronger. Yeah. Yeah, in the airport, it's more of like a 2D, 1D imaging type thing. Yeah, it's it's yeah, mean, it's not where you want to be. So those x-rays, that if you're talking about the thing that goes like this, boom, boom or the yeah. other one, those only look on in, outside on your skin. Yeah. That only, well, if you get pulled, there's they have a room that they pull you in, and it's like a big machine, and it's like a treadmill. <laughs> and you stand up, and it like does this, and it scans your stomach. Really? Um, but – but anyway, so I'm a year in prison, no court date, nothing, no, nothing. Check out the full interview on iTunes, Spotify, and all major podcast platforms.